So let us solve a few problems on finding the stability of closed loop control system using Nyquist stability criteria. The given function g of s into h of s is equal to 1 by s into s plus 1. Let us solve and find the stability for this simple system which has uh, two poles one at origin and the other one is at minus 1 using Nyquist stability criteria. So, we need to consider the Nyquist contour first of all then mapping is to be done. So, uh, the first step uh, you need to replace s by j omega then uh, this become a sinusoidal transfer function it is equal to 1 by j omega into 1 plus j omega. Once it becomes sinusoidal transfer function it consists of magnitude of the function and there will be a phase angle for the function. Being a sinusoidal transfer function it consists of both magnitude and phase angle. So, the magnitude term is 1 by omega under root of 1 plus omega squared. And the phase angle function as there is a pole at origin it becomes minus 90 minus tan inverse omega for the second term. So, very easy to draw the polar plot because polar plot is part of the Nyquist uh, plot. So, Nyquist contour for this particular uh, problem because there is a pole at origin we need to consider the pole at origin must be bypassed. So, there is a pole at origin in this particular uh, problem. So, we need to bypass the Nyquist pole in the Nyquist contour. Then consider section C1 and then consider the infinite radius section as uh, C2, C2 and consider the negative imaginary axis as C3, but very important section is a fourth section bypassing the pole at origin is C4. So, there are four sections now C1, C2, C3 and C4 all four must be mapped into G of S into H of S plane. This is an S plane. Now, you need to have you need to have G of S into H of S plane where every point of these four sections must be mapped that is nothing but Nyquist plot. So, this system given is a minimum phase system with only poles. There are no zeros in the given function and it is a minimum phase system. So, the polar plot the mapping of section C1 mapping of section C1 is nothing but polar plot. So, when you substitute the extreme values omega equal to 0 is the starting of the polar plot and omega is equal to infinity is the ending point. So, when you substitute omega equal to 0 in the magnitude and phase angle you will have the magnitude as infinity, infinity and the phase angle becomes minus 90 and when you substitute omega equal to infinity another extreme the magnitude becomes 0 and the phase angle becomes minus 180. So, mapping of section C1 mapping of section C1 in G of S into H of S plane 
is nothing but a polar plot starts around uh, this is minus 90 this is minus 180 this is minus 270 when you look in the clockwise direction and uh, this becomes plus 90 plus 180 when you see in the clock counterclockwise direction so the mapping of section c1 in g of s into h of s plane will be like this mapping of section c1 it is along with minus 90 begins as omega increases and when it comes to infinity the polar plot ends at the origin now the next is mapping of section c2 mapping of section c2 is nothing but this infinite semicircle with a radius of r tending to infinity so what is that you need to do here is replace s in the given uh, loop transfer function as r e power j theta tending r infinity very high value and uh, theta limits theta limits are from plus 90 to minus 90. So, when you substitute s value this high value in the given function that is in the denominator. So, definitely when you substitute this value in the given function the function becomes 0. The function becomes 0. So, when you map section c2 into the g of s into h of s plane it is a uh, point at origin so we can ignore we can ignore for minimum phase system with only poles you can ignore section c2 because it is a point it is a point at origin when you map infinite semicircle into g of s into h of s plane that is the beauty of nyquist stability criteria that an infinite semicircle when you map into g of s into h of s plane it become a point at the origin in g of s into h of s plane. Now the next section you need to map mapping of section c3. So section c3 is nothing but this is the limits from minus infinity to 0. So image of the polar plot image of the polar plot is the mapping of section c3 you can see that mirror image mirror image this is the polar plot as you increase omega 0 to infinity now it is minus infinity to 0 so this will be the mirror image mirror image of the polar plot so this portion is mapping of section c1 and this portion image of this plot is mapping of section c3 now what is left in the problem is mapping of section c4 mapping of section c4 so again s value you need to take here as rho e power j theta where rho is a very small because it is a Nyquist contour bypassing the pole at origin having a very very small radius rho tending to 0 but the limits for theta the limits for theta is from minus 90 to plus 90 minus 90 to plus 90 now when you substitute this function s value in the given function you can see that the second term can be ignored because 1 plus rho e power j theta you can consider the given function as only 1 by s because the second function you can ignore so that means 1 by rho e power j theta it is equal to rho is 0 that means it becomes infinite magnitude e power minus j theta. So, 
द जी ऑफ एस इंटू हेच ऑफ एस बिकम इन्फिनिटी ई पावर माइनस जे टीटा एंड टीटा वैल्यू वेन यू सब्सिट्यूट माइनस नाइंटी द फंक्शन बिकम्स इन्फाइनेट ई पावर प्लस जे नाइंटी वेन यू सब्सिट्यूट टीटा इक्वल टू प्लस नाइंटी देन इट बिकम्स अगेन इन्फाइनेट सेमी सर्किल ई पावर माइनस जे नाइंटी दट मीन्स द मैपिंग ऑफ सेक्शन सी फोर वेरी स्मॉल इन द नाइक्विस्ट कंटूर बट हियर you must see that this is plus 90 and uh, this is minus 90 now you need to join image of the polar plot end and starting of the polar plot that is nothing but mapping of section c4 so it becomes like this in clockwise direction because you can see the limits plus 90 to minus 90 so mapping of section c4 is nothing but you should start from the end of the mirror image because this is at plus 90 through 0 through 0 to minus 90 in clockwise direction so this will be the complete uh, nyquist plot starting from polar plot image of the polar plot then mapping of section c4 is the total plot now where is the critical point what is that we need to assess here is the critical point is here minus 1 plus j 0 so when you look the nyquist plot it starts from here it goes like this in clockwise direction but it is not covering the minus 1 plus j 0 point now the stability the stability is given by n equal to p minus z where p here is number of poles in the right half of the s plane in this case the p is equal to 0 from the given loop transfer function so n also must be 0 n also must be 0 for stability n and p equal to 0 so we can say that the closed loop system is stable because when n and p are zero z is also equal to zero we can say that the given system okay closed loop system is stable closed loop system is stable